Mm. Okay. All right, Scorpio, the sun, clarity. Okay, typically I don't look at the underlying energy, but for you and Libra, you guys got some serious stuff going on. So I want to I, I want to get as many cards as I can to kind of get a better idea what the heck's going on. Whew. Right. So in the past, you guys have judgment. Okay, this is your energy, guys. Okay, so this is Scorpionic energy. Um, Pluto, right? Phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like this was a review, though. This is a second chance, a time to look back to and base, you know, pretty much to see what exactly needs to be done from the sit from a past situation. The real fortune is coming up in this reading again. So, well, in regards to something very similar to the meaning, you have you have you know, the real fortune coming up. So. I feel like there was potentially getting back to the X here or take this because this is a call to action um, based off of the review that you had. Internally, you had the Hermit, so there was potentially some, you know, closing off and taking some time out, looking within yourself, um, doing some soul searching, um, answering some internal questions that you may have had, regaining your confidence, healing as well. So there was potentially some stuff that came up that required you to heal. Um, but especially if there was a offer of long-term commitment, potentially, um, there was a, an offer of something of great value, um, especially in there needed to be some looking into it, like really looking at, at the details. Um, especially if this was, if this wasn't an offer of love of some sort, this could be that, you know, this was a, you know, a judgment period, right? Again, like I said, to call to action, reviewing a certain situation. This is the review of everything that you've been through. And the hermit was looking back at what you, you know, everything that you've gone through, everything that you've been through, and looking at what is truly of value in great detail. Really looking at the details of some sort of offer that potentially, potentially was given to you, to you, or you extending an offer to someone else and of which you have great value in, you know. So there was some strong energy going on here. All right. Now, Scorpio, in the present, you have judgment, justice coming up. Justice is about karmic scales, re being balanced, righting of the wrongs. This is also settling of settlements. Um, this is not. I'm not thinking legally because this is a love reading. So, for some of you guys, I don't think this is a divorce, but I do think this could also be a, a marriage as well. Because you know, as just like death, like death is not just death. Death is rebirth. Judgment is not just trans. It's not transformation. It's us. It's it's well. It is transformation. It's bringing of what was thought was dead to life. It's Phoenix rising from the ashes. It's a very rebirthing energy. So, um, with judgment here, I feel like. There could be that there's some apologies or there's some sort of settling. Um, not settling, like, as in, like, set, dealing with it, just accepting something that comes in. This is more so of, like, righting the wrongs, putting things to rest. Um, leveling the playing field. And, be, and the reason why I say this is because of the world. This is a successful completion. This is a really good card to get. This is Saturn. Um, you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, another Scorpio, a Leo or a Taurus, but I feel like most importantly, this is a wrapping up of a cycle, wrapping up, wrapping it up in a very wonderful way, a very good way. Forgiveness, even this is also forgiveness. You may be forgiving somebody for something that they may have done to you in the past, or you know, just to be free, right? You, you don't ever forgive anybody for them. You forgive them for yourself, so you can really expand and be free. Because the high priestess is coming up in the external energy. There may be have some, been some secrets and some situations that have been held back. Some things that may have not been said, and that's coming to a close. There's some, there's maybe either receiving an apology or there is forgiveness in in um is forgiveness internally, um to pretty much relieve yourself of any attachments from the past or any attachments that could keep you from being able to successfully, um and honestly enjoy. This relationship that you uh, the, enjoy the successful completion. Now, I feel like with regards to this being relationship for couples, this could be that there's an apology here, and internally, you know, this is a wrapping up of a cycle here with you in this relationship. Um, so, but in a sense, though, it's like some things could be coming to light in the process because the sun is the underlying energy. Sun is about clarity, so. 
there could be that there's something coming out, especially with judgment, uh, justice coming up. I don't think anybody lied. I think there was just some things that were held back because in the in the internal energy from the past, the hermit, it's reflection, taking a step back, looking within, and this can be very reserved and isolated energy. So whatever was isolated here could potentially be exposed now. But there are some things that are being wrapped up here. There's some things that are being rebalanced. And it's brought in this sense of closure. If that makes sense. There's some closure coming into this relationship. Okay. Some good closure. Now, what's amazing is that you have the Wheel of Fortune coming up here in the future. This is a second chance, the second time around. This is a change of luck. So some of you guys, the Wheel of Fortune does um, indicate potentially an ex coming back. Um, and for some of you guys, this could mean that there's a second chance in regards to something that you may have, you may not have had in the past, right? There may have been a relationship and you get a new start with someone new. Um, so it all depends, but I really feel like this is, you know, this is the wheels of, 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 of the, the wheels are turning to change and to go on your, you know, being on your side pretty much. You know, I believe this is the card for Jupiter. So this is the card of expansion. And honestly, well, the card of expansion, well, just J Jupiter is the planet of expansion. And I believe the Wheel of Fortune is, is you know, rules, well, Jupiter rules this card. But I have to check again to be absolutely 100% sure. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is talk about another time, another change. A, a change in regards to a second chance or a another opportunity. This is a new beginning, I sense. And especially, this is the card before the new beginning. So it's wonderful that things are moving in progression with this. Alright. Uh, there's a bit of hiccups, of course, here. This is the last, this is the very last card of the tarot. And this is the second card of the tarot. But this, the Hermit, is before the Wheel of Fortune. You look within, you get, you do the review. And this is, this review is especially in regards to oneself internally. Potentially, right? What of what is of value to this individual? And I feel like this with this review here, there's a new beginning that can start. There's a new beginning that can start now, um, especially with the new, be you know, the wheel, the wheel turning in, in in your favor. I feel. However, you have the Four of Cups coming up in the future it is the general energy of it. So it's almost as if there there may be some things that you may be focusing on or there's some things that are really focused on. But there's a new beginning, obviously, here that you don't see. A new beginning of which of new love because the Ace of Cups is, is new love, is a new emotional opportunity. But there's just some things that they're still that, that make you feel stuck, that you're not able to move out of but it may require you to shift your focus from the three cups onto new on something new but it's hard and you all you could feel all you feel is that you know you're just the same old things with the three of cups but externally you have the the nine of pentacles and i feel i do feel like you feel more independent you feel more in control you feel more um empowered in your situation but the thing here is with the four of cups and the nine of pentacles that I do worry about is being locked in a gilded cage. Um, you know, feeling comfortable where you are, developing a very stable and, and um, powerful um, comfort zone, but it keeps, it's kind of, it can get a little stuffy, a little boring, and it's, and it, it's all the same. This, this is all the same. It's her garden of everything that she's worked so very hard for. However, this Wheel of Fortune could be that there is a period in where you feel more confident in yourself and you feel very grounded. and the, Or this could be a situation where you are, you know, you're tired of the status quo, you're tired of the same old, same old, but there's a change of, there's some sort of change that's happening that will require you to potentially take another step outside of your comfort zone and go on another journey. Okay. Wow, Scorpio. But I see that right here is closure. There's some closure coming up here, either within yourself or within the relationship. If you guys have a relationship. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, those of you that are single, this is really just talking about inner works, right? Love, inner love, uh, self-love uh, specifically. 
um, because the hermit and reassessing or look, looking at what you feel is valuable, assessing your value. Okay, um, and I do feel like with the with the with justice coming up, this is closure in regards to whatever. What what review you're looking at? Well, like whatever you're looking back on. This is a, a call to action, based off the review. So whatever you saw, or whatever you you're looking back in, looking back at, is a put you in a you're in a very similar position of that of, of, of the past. Um. So, so yeah, assessing your value, maybe offering something like long term, but there's some closure here. Either a good way, like apology and marriage or something. I don't see. I don't. I, I wouldn't go with the marriage route because I don't have the higher front here. The higher front did come out in your relate in your in the cards that fell out. New beginning, but there were some old issues. Old issues pertaining potentially being with this. Um, but there's some closure coming in here, and it's and it's one where it's one where um, it's it's very powerful. Because it's all major arcanas. Major arcanas is a very big deal. It's, it's it's very big, and it can change your life. Really, this is a really change your life moment. You guys are going through a very transformative time at this time. All right, let's see what you guys have for the romance angels. Wow. Okay, so you guys have two. We're going to just keep those. Wow, okay. You guys have, wow, trust and new love. That's all I was saying. This relationship, this is, this is good. I, I really feel like this closure is good. Because you gain new love from this situation. And you, it's going to require you to trust, right? The high priestess is going on your intuition and tr you know trusting your intuition, allowing yourself to um, to go on the flow, follow your instincts, and that does require you to trust yourself in a sense. But also trust in the in 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 spirit, trust in source that the completion of this cycle here is for the highest good. But it brings in new love. I feel like this could be new love in itself. This page of pentacles is offering something. It's an offer, right? It's a message. And I feel like this offer has a lot to do with, you know, wrapping, you know, being single. It has a lot to do with being isolated, being alone, or being from being single for some of you guys, right? Or this is about, you know, sending an offer to someone that you find, you know, that you have your, I've had your eye on. And this is your opportunity. You had an opportunity in the past to do something, um, especially in the past, and you offered it. And it was a part of yourself somewhat. And it has something to do with, you know, maybe this person is very isolated. This person that you're dealing with is very private. Um, or they are going through some sort of soul um, adjustment. But this is, this is, this time here is closure. This time here is a wrapping up of, an, of a cycle in a good way with the world coming up. This is a good sense, and I feel like with new love and trust, this is definitely and and, and this is definitely um, empowering. That the future has a lot to hold. Maybe you're waiting on some sort of response from this offer here from the past, or some sort of closure here that you've gotten here. Um, maybe you're waiting for something, but you feel good about it. Ultimately, you feel good about the Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. That's a good change of luck in your favor. 